Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to talk about three little tricks that I love to use to manifest what I want. The first one is to basically just chill out. Have you ever been like late to somewhere, like say you're late for work or you're late for school and you know you're running late, so you're like stressed out and you're like trying to move as quickly as you possibly can, you're like rushing, <laughs> like going in and out of lanes, trying to get there as fast as you can. And then you catch like every single red light possible and there's like weird random traffic that shouldn't be there. Random delays that just like makes you even later <laughs> than you would have been. I feel like that's happened to me so many times like when I'm late and I'm stressed and that anxiety and like me trying so so hard to be on time. I feel like that energy almost somehow like makes it worse and makes me even later than I was gonna originally be. And then I've had other times where I've just like accepted that I was gonna be late because you can't be late twice. If you're already late, then you know, whether you're late by two minutes or five minutes, you're still late. So sometimes then I just kind of like accept that I'm already late and then I just chill out and I just take my time and just go normally. <laughs> then somehow I'll literally catch every single green and I get there on time, even though that shouldn't have even been possible based on like the time that I left. So it's kind of like that when you're trying so so hard to make something happen what ends up happening is you start to become very like controlling of the situation because deep down when you get really controlling and when you like try to force it and try to make it happen when it's just not like flowing what you're essentially doing energetically is you're sending out the message and the vibration that you don't actually believe that it's gonna happen like you don't actually believe that it's already coming to you like you don't have faith that this is gonna happen and that's why you're being so controlling and you're trying so so hard and you're just trying to make it happen force it to happen when it's just not potentially the right time and i feel like this applies to so many different areas of my life like sometimes if i'm taking a test for example and i'm like really really stressed out or if i'm doing a task at work and i'm really like anxious about it and I'm just trying so so hard and I just I'm like filled with stress and anxiety and then my performance is always worse than it would have been if I just chilled out and just took my time and just did it normally so you can apply this to manifestation if you really really want something to happen and you just don't feel like it is happening just relax chill out have faith just like you know keep telling yourself that it will happen, it's already happening, it's already coming to you, it's already yours and then just chill out and live your life normally and that's gonna remove a lot of the blockages that you built up when you were being really controlling or when you were trying to force things to happen and when you relax, you're able to get more in flow with things and that will allow things to come to you a lot faster the second one is to trust the signs from the universe so this can come in many form, but an example that I'll give just happened to me literally like this week. I sometimes get very conflicted about certain decisions in my life. And I will be like, should I do this or should I do that? What should I do? I'm so confused. I'm so conflicted. And I think what we don't realize sometimes is when we need to make an important decision, the universe will send us signs in many different forms to tell us what the right thing to do is. So literally, as I'm having this little existential crisis like inside of my mind and just like in my head, my mom calls me randomly and she's like basically telling me what to do, <laughs> what decision I should be making. And I'm like, okay, but she's like my mom, so she has her own like agendas. <laughs> so I don't know if it's necessarily the right thing, right? Then the next day, one of my old like coworkers came to visit and literally basically said the exact same thing my mom said to me the day before and then the next day I was like I love watching like tarot cards videos on YouTube so I was watching a tarot reading of like a yes or no video and the video said the exact same thing that my mom and my old co-worker said to me so these are ways that you might get signs from the universe it might be like a person it might be like a message, something in your email, maybe a text, maybe your friend will randomly like say something to you that kind of relates to the decision that you've been thinking about. 
There are so many ways that signs will come to you and it's really important to kind of slow down and realize when the universe is sending you signs and to listen to those signs. And it doesn't always have to be external, like sometimes deep down you like know what you should be doing and it's so important to trust your intuition because that's another way that the universe will send you signs because deep down you always have like a certain feeling about things so always trust your gut feeling and your intuition because it's usually never wrong and every time that I've like regretted a decision or something like that it's because I didn't trust my intuition it's like when you, something feels off but you're like oh but logically it just makes so much sense so you ignore your gut feeling and you do it anyways <laughs> and then it ends up terribly and you're like okay I guess I should have trusted my intuition in the first place okay the third one is to play hard to get it's kind of like when you're dating and you're like chasing someone so so hard then sometimes it kind of makes them you know pull back from you and then sometimes when you're like just more aloof like a cat and you're just like i don't i don't really care i don't even want to be like in a relationship with you honestly and you pull back your energy then they'll come chasing after you so it's kind of like that you can use that same technique with your manifestations so for example, if, you're, if you've been trying to manifest something for a really long time or if you've been trying really, really hard and you feel like it's just not coming, it's just not happening, what you can do is you can be like, oh, I don't even want that thing anymore. I'm going to focus my energy on something else. Or you can be like, I don't even want that thing like right now because I'm so busy with another project. Like that's going to take up all of my focus. Because what ends up happening is when you're like, I don't want something to come, Basically, the universe doesn't pick up the word don't. <laughs> it's only going to pick up like the thing that you want and it coming now. And because of that, it's going to make it happen so much faster. It's almost like when you've been trying to do something for a really long time and it just doesn't happen. The moment you say like, oh, I quit, I give up, I don't want it anymore, then immediately it happens. It's kind of like that. And it's a really easy way for you to kind of let go of your manifestation because that's the one thing that I think a lot of people have a hard time with like being so attached to something because they want it to happen so badly so just kind of saying oh I don't want it right now or I don't even want it anymore I want something else something different and kind of redirecting your focus on that sometimes will kind of make it come to you way faster than if you were to continue like trying so hard Okay, that's it for today's video. I hope that you found value in this. And if you did, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out and helps the channel grow and I really appreciate it. Let me know what you want to see next and I'll see you next time. Bye!